Hello, welcome back to another episode of Big Sky Farms at Westbridge Hills. We are just finishing up some late lunch here. I uh, had to go meet with one of the neighbors and get a couple of things sorted out. Um, and he did have a little bit of a surprise for us. So we're going to bring some lunch back to the crew out in the cornfield. Um, and let's see which way we got to go to get out of the restaurant here. Um, then uh, we'll make sure they get going. And we will go down and check out what uh, what the neighbor has for us. So we've actually got it hooked up and ready to go already. So he's got a high horsepower tractor we can try on our on our uh, harrow. So oh, it looks like the boys are full. We did get the cart up and going on there, um, and so. Uh, yeah, we got the we got the green cart set up on the 933 since the neighbor's letting us use his uh, his big articulated machine there. Um, yeah, I, I I really can't justify the money for it, uh, but I was visiting with him right after our uh, last episode. He uh, he had uh, oh he had a little uh, thing we could try. So we're here on the edge of the field. And we are going to head up here a minute to 933. We'll leave everybody's lunches here. We are going to get this unloaded, and then we're going to see if this guy can go do some unloading of these while we do a little bit of harrowing. So, okay, so we had this the other day. And basically, I need to create a job. And I want to here, here. And then we want to do a field position of this one. Nope. And so now he's going to be able to whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, go the other way. All right. So we got him good. Whoop, just about got run over there. So he should be able to go. And we can jump in our truck here. We're going to go down and see if we can get a little bit of heroin done on this piece and on whoop, whoop, the uh, stubble that we did on the corn silage. So, but yeah, we've got a big old versatile here. So, we're going to go ahead and jump out here. We're going to take a look at this guy here. We got some big old tires on there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, 900s. 800s. Excuse me. 800s. Uh, big old 620, 620-horse uh, Cummins in that versatile. Um, yeah. He uh, he got it shined up and working nice for us. So um, we're going we're gonna to give it a shot here. Let's see. Uh, she works. So, and are we rolling? Ooh, that's a real soft engine sound there. And 
We are engaged on our GPS, so we're going to see what we can do here. And just show you guys what we're up to. We're up to 16 mile an hour with this thing. Um, much more uh, closer to that working range where I want it to be. So getting this lime worked in, getting the weeds killed, and getting a layer of mulch down for us. So that is what we like to see. And GPS is going to give us a little bit of a skip there, I see. So we will have to circle back and catch that. And we're just going to go ahead and turn in the, on the end here. So yeah, we can keep a track here. I know this is a little bit of a dirtier screen here, but we're going to keep track and see. So the fent is almost full. Fent is full. And New Holland is working on it. And the 933 looking like he's getting out there to get uh, unloaded there. So, okay, so we're going to have to pick our harrow up here and see if we can get turned around here. These California folk are rather impatient. real impatient to uh, just let me get this sorted out here. Uh, that little blip there is uh, what happens when the uh, phone rings and you're in the middle of a corner. Things kind of go south on us. So we'll have to get that sorted next time. But so as we were talking, our fent did get the ideal unloaded. We are here driving down the middle of the field, not having our implement in the ground. Good job, way to go. All right, so we're going to work on getting this field done. Obviously, I have a few uh, things to catch up on. And then we might set this guy off on this field over here. Oh, GPS going to settle. It is going to settle down. Excellent. So, we will just carry on here. We got what, two passes left? And we can get some things done here. Looks like our new Holland is getting real close to needing to be unloaded. Trying to figure out the best time to. Swing back and pick that track up. I think it just might be now, unless. We're going to skip a row, of course. Our GPS has to be off by just a little bit. That's always helpful. We'll see how this guy does pulling straight up out of the valley here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, neighbor basically didn't say anything about how many hours, just uh, fill it back up with diesel when we're done. So that's what we'll do. 
might just have to uh, give them a call. Let them know we're going to keep it for a couple of days because it works great on this arrow. So. Pick that baby up. All right, so we should get some bonus points for having this thing mulched. Next thing we got to do is get some some wheat cleaned. Let's get some seed wheat cleaned and treated. See if we can get a little winter wheat in the ground. All right, we better swing up here and get our big skip from those impatient California drivers. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to do it this way. Go back, catch the bottom here. All right. So our New Holland looks full. However, our Fent tractor is... Heading over there right now, so we should be okay there. We're gonna get this little skip on the edge here. Okay. Still haven't figured out where that little tree up there in the left came from. I thought when I did some log in here, I thought we got rid of that little guy, but apparently we didn't. So anyway, we're gonna get this done. We did have a few small skips here. And get our big skip here. I might go ahead and do a little bit of a montage. Oh, we're going to create a big mess here. Oh, the joys of GPS. So, all right. I think we're going to do this number for our GPS. And that field has been plowed, so there is nothing to mulch there. So we're going to mulch some grass here. And then I think we're just going to set this guy up on a course for the big field, and we'll swing back and check on him. That's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to see how this works. So we're at 70 feet. Multiple tools. We want one headland. We're going to start on the center. 
going to do the longest edge. I'm going to see once how that looks. All right, so we'll see how this goes. But for right now, I'm going to jump over. That would explain why both combines are standing still. All right, we will watch this guy unload here for just a minute. He will wait for the call. There it is, and now he can go get him. We don't have a whole lot left. So since he has things here well under control, we better go unload our truck. And I'm actually stuck. We, I think, are just going to have to run down to the dairy. I don't know if this thing is going to be tough enough to move that thing or not, but we're going to give it a shot. I don't know if we'll be able to pick up the hitch, but we're hoping we can. All we got to do is move it just a little bit. I don't know if this is going to give me a better, better angle or not. Okay. Well, there we go. Come on, little Manitou. Whoop, whoop. Whoa, easy. That fans is how we break stuff. Okay. Got that done. Let's see. We can get hooked back up here. Okay. Now that we have that sorted out and taken care of. We won't make that mistake again, and we can get our corn unloaded. Sorry about the glitches and the delays there, guys, but life happens, I tell you what. Some days it just does not pay to get out of the farm sim bed. See, our Manitou, our Versatile is moving, looks like. Like he might have just made a corner. We'll have to check. He may just be spinning in a circle there. I'm not sure. Let's just take a minute, jump over, and check him. No? Oh, we're, that's right, we started on the long rows. So he's got a, a whole bunch of horsing around here. He's doing her. Okay. We can bring this back up to the field. And we can go from there. We're going to see if this works or if it goofs up our horseplay unloader. And it's going to.
Wish I could just remotely stop him. Hey dude, there is a whole bunch of stuff in your way. You can't get to me. Try to help a guy out here, see what he does. So I kind of figured we'd have to help this guy out here. And I'm okay with that. We're going to zoom in quite a ways here. See if we can get us on the right. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. We're going to stay right there. Awesome. I'm thinking that will Okay, so this guy seems to be doing okay. Checking back in here with this guy. He seems to be doing A-OK. -okay. We've got another truck load of corn here that we can go get rid of. So that's good. That's going to give us some, after this load north. Almost 4,000 bushels, 5,000. 4,800 4, bushels, I'm thinking. So that'll be a nice little paycheck when it comes time to sell it. Okay, now we know. We need to slow her down. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I might have to search for a different truck driver because this guy just can't seem to keep the wheels on the ground. Wait, that's me. I'm the truck driver. I'll have to fire myself. If I do that, who's going to do the work? Unfortunately, nobody. So, okay. Oh, that's another thing we got to do is figure out where we're going to put corn next year and get a little bit of anhydrous down this fall on that corn ground. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and get this corn finished up. And hopefully get everything kind of put away and sorted away. The old uh, ideal machine hasn't really missed a beat on this corn ground.
as far as having power issues and everything, so I don't know what's going on. Don't know, don't know, don't know. So, oh, we can take a moment. Check out Mark Haythorn Waits time saving stock check mod, which we love. We're at 667,000 liters, plenty of silage, lots of hay, and even a little bit of straw. So we're looking good there. Bunch of barley. So March, I'm going to be doing a bunch of selling in January and March. So lots of barley going to the restaurant. So that's good. That's good. I think. Yep, the restaurant is right there where we were for lunch. So that's good. Okay. to get this guy out of the way here. Take the tarp off. Jump back over here. We are going to okay. Typically, you don't see that in the flat ground where one guy runs his header into the other, but I guess that works too. So that was kind of fun to see, I guess. Anyway, um, I think we are going to um, hang on to this new Holland for the canola. Um, we are going to, uh, yeah, we're going to leave them here for a minute. And this is why I love having high horsepower on this Harrow, because it just gets it done. Okay, where is our beloved Fent? Here it is. Open up our course play, shut it off. Fire him up. Let's go ahead and unload him into the cart. All right. So I believe that is where we will end the episode for you today. Do appreciate you coming to hang out with us, taking a look at the videos here. If you like what you're seeing, uh, leave a comment, drop a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're a new viewer, welcome. And hope you enjoyed what you're watching. Thanks for stopping by.